Yesterday, the United States of America was suddenly attacked. December 7th, 1941, a date which will live in infamy. Our strategy from the beginning was to use the vocabulary of Japanese kaidan or ghost stories and uh, you might be more familiar with it through the Japanese horror movies that are ascended from it like The Ring and The Grudge and Dark Water to help you emotionally access the terror of the historical experience and we thought that would be a much more effective way of telling the story than a docudrama approach which there have been many of and many wonderful uh, tellings of but we wanted uh, the viewer to really feel like what was what it's like to be inside the skin of the people who live through this experience. Hey, Saito, a Suzuki. They're coming with us. We come all the way over the ocean, but we are not safe. There is something evil. I can feel it. My, my character in the terror, Chester, is basically a composite of both of my grandfathers. You know, one having grown up in Terminal Island and being sent to the camps and the other, um, you know, um, fighting for uh, the Americans. You ever get the feeling you're being watched? This is not just the story, it is the story of the Japanese Americans, but is not exclusively for Japanese Americans. It is a story for anyone's, anyone whose life has been shaped or touched by the immigrant experience, which in the United States is just about anyone. You don't have to go very far but back in anyone's family to get to an immigrant and to get to that feeling of embracing a country that doesn't embrace you back, and that's where I tapped into it. It's what I wrote about as a playwright, and it's what I'm getting to write about for the first time in television. Fill it out, turn it in. Just have to prove if you're a loyal American. They see us as rats. I knew about the camp, but then I didn't know about the camp that well. So I started searching about the camp, and then also I started searching about um, uh, Japanese people who moved to in, uh, LA back in 1940s because my character is really similar to that. So it was really exciting for me to learn all that stuff, yeah. I can feel it. You believe in the bakemono? Shape-shifting spirits. I hope audiences are able to be um, scared and frightened and, and thrilled by the ride that they're gonna go on, uh, but also to be able to um, have empathy towards others and to be able to relate uh, to these characters who they may not they may not look like but they can relate to uh, their shared struggles. I used to believe in that old country stuff. Anywhere you go. There's a wide range of awareness about the internment from people who have never, didn't even know it existed, all the way to people whose families uh, survived the internment. So on both ends of the spectrum, we wanted to honor the memory of, of those people whose families were interned. And we also wanted to give some people their first visual uh, a sense of what the life in these camps uh, was like. And what's 